There are actually a large number. At a very high level of analysis is the point that there's a realization that markets are not necessarily efficient and stable uh, on their own. Uh, you know, many economists had believed that before. I think now there's a consensus on that. Second, again, very high level uh, lesson is that uh, a belief that was very widespread before was that keeping inflation low and stable was necessary and almost sufficient for maintaining uh, high growth, stable, real sector, uh, good economic performance. Clearly, that's wrong as well. At the more practical level, I think the most interesting thing is to bring back many of the things that we knew before but forgot. For instance, one of the lessons that came out very strongly in the conference was that fiscal policy works. That when government uh, spending, and when the economy is weak, government spending can actually stimulate the economy. Before the crisis, there was, um, in some circles, the view that fiscal policy was not as effective as monetary policy. And the notion that the only limitation to that would be when interest rates came down to zero, then monetary policy couldn't work, and that was thought to be a weird and almost never to occur uh, circumstance. Well, we're now living in that very circumstance, and we're back in the situation where really fiscal policy does matter. There are a whole set of related ideas of how to uh, get the economy going using some old and some new uh, uh, lessons from the crisis. I think what's perhaps most striking is the lesson, not so much for policy, but for economic analysis, that the models, the models that were used before the crisis neither predicted the crisis nor gave us a framework for responding to the crisis when it happened. And so in a sense for an economist, this is a very exciting time because it means there's a lot of work to be done. In order to recover in a robust and stable way, we have to get global growth going. And that really has to do with how the whole global system works. And an important part of that is the global reserve system and therefore figuring out uh, replacing the current dollar-based system with a global system is extraordinarily important. Uh, one, at, one approach to that is augmenting the SDR system uh, at which the IMF has been a core, core uh, 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 there have been episodic increases in the past proposals now to make these on a regular basis, uh, maybe uh, used for in a, in a uh, counter-cyclical way, uh, maybe used in the way that's been proposed uh, for addressing global needs like climate change, finance for developing countries. Lots of very innovative ideas where you solve not just one but several problems uh, at the global level simultaneously. I think there is a recognition that in the aftermath of the crisis, we haven't really created a more stable financial system. Uh, that to too large extent we're going back to where we were before the crisis. And in some ways things are worse. They're worse in two ways. One, we have a more concentrated banking system, especially here in the United States. And secondly, the problem of moral hazard has been raised to a heightened level. Uh, the banks know that when uh, push comes to shove, any bank that is very big will be rescued, 
resolution authority is not enough. What the United States government thought was exclusion, I don't think anybody takes it seriously. So we actually have not succeeded in repairing our financial system, and the vulnerability is in some ways even greater, and our capacity to respond to a crisis is lessened because of the rising debt and deficits that have come as a result of the crisis itself. So the implication is that we really need to get back to work to try to uh, design a regulatory system, uh, including making sure that we both limit the size of the too big to fail banks, level the playing field that they get, uh, they get to grow because they can get access to lower funds because the market knows that they will be saved, um, preventing excess uh, risk taking, a whole agenda to deal with the too big to fail institutions. That, in a sense, was the biggest lesson of the crisis, in a, in a way, that there are these very important cross-border externalities, that each country pursuing its own interest does not necessarily lead to the well-being of a global economy. There is, therefore, a need for this kind of coordination. The IMF is at the center uh, of this global coordination. Uh, it's played, in this crisis, a very constructive role of reminding many people that what we need now is stimulation, reminding people that some of the earlier results about uh, deficit policies were wrong and that really deficit spending is what is needed. Early, too early austerity could bring us back into an economic downturn. Those are all very important messages and frameworks in which the IMF has played a, a very important role. Thank you.